Replacing Frank Vogel with Darvin Ham is not gonna save this franchise. It's like rearranging the deck chairs on the Titanic. LeBron James pushed for a Russell Westbrook trade, which turned out to be a disaster. AD and LeBron can't stay healthy, and they won't have their own draft pick until 2026. But one person can actually save the Lakers. And no, that person is not LeBron James. I know a lot of people blame LeBron for the Russ trade, but imagine where they would be without LeBron. Before he signed, they had missed the playoffs five years in a row. Their best player was 20 year old Brandon Ingram without LeBron there's a chance the Lakers don't make the playoffs for nine straight seasons nine times nine times so obviously their problems started way before LeBron got there. Their playoff drought started the year after their old owner, Dr. Jerry Buss, died. If you're watching Winning Time on HBO, you know Dr. Buss loved to party and win championships. He bought the team in 1979 and won 10 titles missed the playoffs just two times in 34 years. He was also prolific off the court. Buss had six children, Johnny, Jim, Jeannie, Janie, Joey, and Jesse. When he passed in 2013, Dr. Buss left his majority ownership to all six kids who each got an 11% stake. But he also left Jim and Jeannie in control. Jeannie would run the business and call the shots. Jim ran the front office with GM Mitch Kupchak. The problem is Jim wasn't exactly qualified to run the biggest NBA team in the world. I mean, yeah, he was around basketball most of his life, but he once famously told Sports Illustrated, evaluating basketball talent is not too difficult. I mean, if you grab 10 fans out of the bar and ask them to rate prospects, their opinions would be pretty much identical to some of these pro scouts. <laughs> not good. If a potential GM said that in an interview, he would be laughed out of the room and not get the job. But talent and experience is not the number one qualification to work for the Lakers. It's loyalty. Ever since Dr. Buss passed his team to the kids, the Lakers' philosophy has been to keep it in the family. The biggest team in the world is run like a small family business, which is bad according to Inc.com. They say 60% of second generation businesses fail Third generation companies go out of business 90% of the time. The kids who inherit the business just don't work as hard as the parent who started it. Either they're entitled or they don't bring in new talent with fresh ideas. Jim and Mitch Kubchak made a ton of mistakes. They let Pau Gasol and Dwight Howard walk in free agency without getting anything back in a trade. They figured oh, the Lakers big name will attract talent. Well, that didn't happen. LeBron turned them down for the Cavaliers in 2014. Carmelo Anthony signed with the Knicks instead of the Lakers. LaMarcus Aldridge said they barely even mentioned basketball in their pitch to him. Instead, they focused on moving to Hollywood. Their reputation was so bad as a front office, Kevin Durant just flat out refused to meet with them in 2016. But the most shocking example of how Jim Buss ran the Lakers is when he messed up a trade to get DeMarcus Cousins. The trade was on the table, but instead of consulting with like, you know, a good basketball mind, Jim called his 29 year old brother Jesse and they lost the deal. A random 20 something year old. So Jeannie finally fired Jim and Mitch in 2017, replacing them with Magic Johnson and Rob Palenka. Neither guy had any front office experience, but they were part of the Lakers family. The list of people that Jeannie Buss actually listens to is eight names long. Magic Johnson, Phil Jackson, Jeannie's ex-boyfriend, by the way, Tim Harris, another one of Jeannie's exes, Rob Palenka, Kobe's agent, LeBron James, Rich Paul, LeBron's agent, Kurt Rambis, and Linda Rambis. Every name has no business running an NBA team, especially Kurt and Linda Rambis. But ESPN reported in some circles around the NBA, Linda Rambis is referred to as a shadow owner of the Lakers. A title one front office staffer said Rambis enjoys, noting she loves it and that she controls and manipulates Jeannie. And that's because they have been besties for about 40 years. The only qualification to run the Lakers, 
Not experience or talent, just being in the family. Jeannie's father met Linda when she worked at a Playboy nightclub in the 1970s. He gave her a job with the Lakers and she's been involved ever since. And Jeannie says her best friend is not involved in basketball. And I know a lot of Laker fans will write that in the comments. Then why did Monty Williams say he was shocked that Linda was in the room when he interviewed to be the Lakers head coach? In fact, Kurt and Linda told Jeannie to not hire Ty Lu, who also interviewed. So they lowballed him and lost him to the Clippers. And honestly, the one person who should actually be on that list is Jerry West. He is considered a great basketball mind and a legendary Laker. Dr. Buss even promised Jerry West lifetime season tickets to Laker games that were recently revoked. So why was the logo kicked out of the family? It's because he pulled a Fredo. Fredo, you're my older brother and I love you. But don't ever take sides with anyone against the family again. Yeah, he took sides. Not with the Warriors, that was fine. With the Clippers. Jerry West chose to work for the other LA team who was making the playoffs every year while the Lakers were a disaster. That made the family look horrible. And you never show disloyalty to this family. So instead of Jerry West, Jeannie has recently let Phil Jackson back in. They've been spotted around LA again lately. One report actually said Phil told Jeannie she should trade LeBron James. What is he, Stephen A. Smith? Look, as long as the Lakers are run like a small town family business, they're gonna be a joke. And don't get me wrong, there's always gonna be like some superstar who wants to wear the purple and gold and live in LA, but their days of being a dynasty are over. I would hate to be a Laker fan right now. Until the Bus family actually sells the franchise, the plan is for all of the Bus ownership to be passed down to each sibling until Jesse, the youngest, who messed up the DeMarcus Cousins trade, owns all six. 66%. If I'm a Laker fan, I would hope that all of the bus kids get together and decide to sell before that happens because that could take decades. The Lakers don't need a new head coach, although that, that's great. They need a new owner who will run the team like the multi-billion dollar company that they are, not some small town family business. Actually, one part of the Laker family who's been embarrassing himself lately is Shaq. Shaq gets on TNT and disrespects these young players again and again, and he did it again to Rudy Gobert and Donovan Mitchell again. But when you look closer, you can see the motive that he has behind this criticism. And I made a whole video about it, check it out. 